Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul and in today's video, we are going to talk about SQL limit clause. Before we write any query using the limit clause, think of a situation where you are completely unknown to the data set and your manager or your trainer asks you to get complete understanding about that table. As a simple procedure, what you will do is that you will write the select query to get the result and then you will try to get the understanding of that data using that output which you have got from the select query. But in real life, it will be very difficult for you to understand the structure of the table and data as the table might have over a million rows and all of that rows will be your output. And in case if that table has over 10 or 100 million rows, then your select query will not be able to show you the result set until unless you apply a condition in the where clause. But you do not know anything about that table or the structure of the table, so you do not have any idea on which column you should apply the, that condition in the where clause. So in this situation you are stuck and you do not have any way out to understand the data as well as the table structure. So in order to overcome this kind of situation SQL has a limit clause which allows you to get only a specific rows in the output. This limit clause is used to set an upper limit on the number of rows returned by the SQL query. It's very important to note that this clause is not supported by all SQL versions right now. And one another important thing about this limit clause is that the expression in the limit clause must be a positive number. You cannot put a negative number after limit. So let's go and write some queries to limit our output in the select statement. So we have this table promotional email in which we had 1,33,926 rows and suppose this, this number of record which we have has grown thousand times or million times then we won't be able to retrieve our data with a simple select statement until unless we apply a condition on the columns we, we won't be able to retrieve the data. And as we are very new to this data set, we don't know on which column we should apply the condition. So what we can do is that simply we can write select star from email underscore data dot promotional mail, which is the table. And we can simply put limit 100 or we can you can put limit 10. So what it will do is that it will retrieve the entire data set. So it will run the query on the entire data set and it will give us the output for the first 10 rows. When we run this query, you will see that you will get only 10 rows. You can see you have only 10 rows here. So this is how basically we use the limit clause to limit the number of records in our output. Now it's very easy for us to go and see the data as well as the total headers or the column headers here and try to understand the data. With limit function, the SQL gives you the flexibility to reduce the number of rows in your output and it helps you to get the understanding of the table and the table structure. Now in the introduction, I have told you that you can only use limit with positive numbers or positive integers. So suppose if by mistake, if you have written minus 15, then what will happen? So SQL will simply give you an error stating that So SQL will simply give you an error stating that you have error in your syntax because limit can only be used with the positive integer numbers. So this is how basically you use limit in your SQL query to limit the number of records in your output. Hey, if you find this video insightful, then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button.